Good evening, everyone. I'm Khushi, and I'm a third year undergrad in the Department of Civil Engineering. And yeah, today I am a part of Kahanikar. So, um, so I share the best relationship with my grandparents. Uh, it was the best when I was a kid, and then I moved on to becoming an arrogant teenager, and now it's back to being the best again. I, we, we share the relation where they tell me, they exchange stories and experiences and I teach them how to use WhatsApp and other technology. Uh, one, so there is one very distinct exchange which I had with my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, which is my Nani. She's going to be addressed as Nani throughout the story. And yeah, the exchange went like this. So, my nani is a very, uh, she, she has very vivid memories. She remembers things from her childhood, like when she was 10 years old, from when she was 15 years old. And it's always fascinating for me to know something from something that was so back, so back in time. Uh, and as a child, so the exchange, the story went like this. As a child, my nani, she loved animals. She had like two, three mice, two, three cats, a hen and a dog. The mice, the mice were like white, proper white mice, pet mice, not the ones that we, not the ones that we see uh, in the streets or in the stray. And yeah, so she was very fond of animals. Uh, she had a bunch of pets in her house and uh, yeah, coming to the closest, the Clo the closest, the most precious pet she had, which was her dog. Uh, her dog's name was Jackie and Jackie and Nani were so good friends that Jackie would eat out of her hand, walk her to school, lift her backpack. The, the proper movie dog that you would want, the proper dream dog that you would want was Jackie. But um, as Jackie was growing older, uh, there, be, there came a time when he became impatient. It becomes difficult to control dogs when they are older. So he became impatient. It was difficult to control him. And he would sometimes lash out on guests, bark on the guests, sometimes uh, bite, some of the, bite some of the guests who would come over, which was not very appreciated by my nani's father. Right. Now... My nani did her best to control Jackie, to train Jackie, but there were times when uh, Jackie, Jackie's actions would just upset everyone in the house. Now, one day, my nani's father, she, not my nani's father, he asked her if she is ready to take end-to-end -end responsibility of Jackie, or if she is not, they'll have to give away Jackie to someone else. Thinking of how close Jackie was, Nani would never let him go. And whenever any guests would come, they would have to lock Jackie up in a room. They would have to, if he would lash out on someone, they would have to like punish him by not giving him food for a while. And that's how things went for a while. And uh, for quite a few, for, for quite some time, Jackie did not lash out on people. But one day, uh, a homely gardener was gardening in the home, in their home, and Jackie sensed them as a stranger. The, the gardener was like a very poor, a very weak and feeble man, but Jackie sensed the danger, he sensed the stranger, so he went up and he bit the poor man. Now, that's when my nani's father, he lost his temper and... That's when he took the final step that we have to let Jackie go. Jackie cannot be a part of the family because he's not being trained. He's being rude to everyone who's coming. And I don't think that we can control him. My, this, was a very, this was a turning point in my nani's childhood since Jackie was so close to her. And yeah, uh, there was a lot of begging and crying that don't let Jackie go. I remember when she was telling me this story and I tears welled up in the three-year-old Khushi, the five-year-old Khushi, that how can you let that dog go? I, by the way, I love dogs and 
the dog the dog lover in me was struck in by the words of letting your pet dog go so after a lot of quarreling and a lot of stubborn stu- uh, stubbornism my nani had to fall for what her father had asked her to so my nani takes jacky and she has to basically drop him off so she goes to the mal gadi like purane zamane mein there used to be mal gadi the goods train where you just leave, where they transport goods and all and they have to leave jacky she goes she leaves jacky inside the train and she hugs him one last time and she has to leave him there and walk back home while walking away from the train she hears she hears jacky barking and calling her out but her help she's helpless to go back to him and yeah we leave jacky they leave jacky right there they come back and so time passes she people everyone in the house they start time passes everyone in the house everyone in the house they start they start to learn how to live without jacky my nani is also learning how to live without jacky and it's a difficult time but everyone is learning and fast forward to two months so one day while they are sitting in the veranda my nani is sitting with her siblings and they hear a bark come from across the street they slowly in front of the gate they see jacky appear and jacky had almost made his way back home after two months <laughs> so maybe universe works in bizarre ways but it has a lot in store for you and i think that's what i learned from this story when i was when i heard it for the first time and yeah that's what i would like to give away, give away to everyone here that yeah just wait for the universe to present you with the best things that it has <laughs>